Good morning. Time for morning prayer once again on this Wednesday morning. God is light. Genesis 1, 3, 4. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. John 1, 4 and 5. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. 1 John 1, 5. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Jesus on the cross was a war. It was a war between light and darkness and light overcame the darkness. Psalm 68 one was fulfilled. God arose and his enemies were scattered. And that light is now in every true child of God. First Thessalonians 5, 5 For you are all children of light, children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Ephesians 5, 8 At one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. And we must boldly release the light of the Lord into the situations we face, the situations he brings us to, allowing the light of Jesus to bring victory as it pushes back this present darkness. He has given us his light. He has given us his sword of the word. He has given us his name. Use them. Station yourself spiritually in prayer and re release the light of Christ into the lives of those who need salvation. Aim the light of Christ at their sins and their addictions and whatever else it is that's holding them back from Jesus. Ask the Lord to shine his powerful light into the lives of your family, your friends, your community. Ephesians 5, 8, right now, now you are children of light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Jesus, you said, ask. So we are asking for your presence, for your power, for your light in our lives, in our church, through us and into our communities and cities. Jesus, shine your light through us in such strength that it can't be ignored. Let your light shine through us so bright that it pushes back the present darkness of this age in our city, in our community, Lord, in our families. Lord, let your shine, light shine from our church so brightly that it draws like a lighthouse those who are lost, those who have drifted far from you, and those whose hearts have grown cold. Fill your house, your church, your people with your mighty presence. Arise, shine upon your church. Your light has now come and your glory has risen upon your people, your church. Darkness may cover the earth and deep darkness may cover the people, but it is a defeated darkness. People are looking for the brightness of our rising with your light upon us. Jesus, our eyes are on you as we pray in your precious and holy and bright name.